All right, we're back to playing Clubhouse. I thought, you know, it's July 14th. A lot of middle schoolers are out here on uh, summer vacation. What are they playing? Are they playing Apex Legends? I don't think so. Are they playing Rocket League? You would think so based on the fact that uh, none of my teammates online can consistently hit the ball on kickoff and it's in a standing position. Uh, but no, I'm going to assume that they're all here in, in the clubhouse and I'm going to... I'm going to play with anyone. I know for a fact we're going to end up getting some stream snipers. This is also like the saddest indicator you will ever see of Clubhouse's current popularity. The only two games with any players right now are Richie Mahjong, which is an absolutely it's a wonderful game, and Hanafuda, which is like Go Fish, but the cards were drawn by Vincent Van Gogh. Um, I'm gonna start, you know, what are, what are some that I'm a fan of right off the bat? I love a little Yacht Dice. Uh, I love a little, all the card games are kinda, kinda trashed here. Uh, I love a little Billiards, of course. Okay, but give me some 8-ball Billiards. And I love a little, I forgot how to play ga uh, Backgammon. You can always throw chess in there. I, I haven't played chess in a long time, but let's throw it in there. All I ask is if you end up playing against me in chess, don't use the engine. Because when you lose, I don't want to hear you say that it's Stockfish's fault. Right, we should put some Moncala up there too. Did I tell you, and I don't, I don't mean this to be an insult to, to my family here. Joe is in control. Has there ever been a scarier sentence than that? Um, I was playing Moncala with uh, my sister-in-law, and I was destroying her. I was freaking ripping her up, right? Uh, and then my niece was like, can I play? Can I play? And I was like, sure, that's fine. So the, what the worst full house you, you'll ever see in your life. Um, so then when the niece started playing, I stopped trying, which I know sounds like bad sportsmanship, but literally she's, um, you know, nine years old. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna not necessarily let her win, but I'm not gonna try as hard as I can. And then halfway through the game, my sister-in-law started telling her moves. She would be like, no, don't do this one, do this one instead. I'll take a full house on that one. Look at that. And then I lost, and then my sister-in-law started celebrating. And I was like, what are you... I mean, I didn't say this to her, but I was like, you can't do that. I, I just... I, I took off my, my power level in order to make it so that your daughter would win, and then you jumped in to steal some of the glory. A little small straight there. Okay. Hmm. Stolen Valor. Yeah. It, am I the asshole? Let's make up a story of how it could have ended. I think I would be the asshole if I blew up over that. They would be like, you know, you pr principally maybe you're slightly in the right, but at the same time, uh, you shouldn't have blown up over a children's video game. You're the asshole. And yeah, now, am I the asshole for not going to my niece's birthday party because her mom beat me in Moncala? I can live with that. Three fours? Sign me up. In my family, we don't let the kids what win. If they get steamrolled, they get steamrolled. Look, I respect it. I will say, though, I, I don't think that letting a kid win in, uh, in Moncala is like, uh, I don't think that's going to coddle them too much. The other thing is, I didn't re it's not like I was deliberately making the worst moves. I was just like not spending a lot of time coming up with the best moves. Plus, it's already like Im implicitly it's not a fair game. What a roll. Put put that in large straight, please. Thank you. Um, that's that's an incredible roll. I can't be mad about that at all. You're Joe, you're you're no longer in control. If I was a kid, I would hate if my parents let me one. 
Honestly, if you were a kid, you would have no idea. Because you're going up against like a, a 32 year old with a fully developed prefrontal cortex. Your brain is like the size of a, a medjool date. You would just be like... Like as a kid, I won Monopoly literally every time I played with my parents. And not for a sec not until I was like 22 was I like, oh, they probably let me win. As a child, I was like, I'm really freaking good at Monopoly, man. I'm insanely good at Monopoly. The game is like 85% luck at best. You know, I'm going to I'm going to go for the uh the inside small straight draw here. And if it fails, we got a chance. <laughs> Joe, yeah, Joe's playing tilted. You can't play tilted like that. But yeah, I mean, I think it's implicitly unfair to play a game of skill against a small child. Um, so you gotta, like, not use all of your executive function to make it fair. You gotta, it, it's like you gotta, you're playing with a, a golf handicap or something. That's my, that's my take on it. I am having pretty good luck here. I, I feel like Joe's getting uncharacteristically screwed. I almost got another straight, man. Okay, give me give me the threes. We could still lose this. If we get the bonus on the top, though, it's over. Is Yahtzee a game of skill? Uh, no. It is not. I am... I'm just thinking. You could go choice here, but IMO, you go ones. I think your your loss on expected value from the ones is not that... is not that particular. Instead, we, all we need is either four twos, four threes, four fours, or four sixes. There, there's a little skill in, in Yacht Dice. Not much, though. I think there, there's some, you know, you, you have some impact in the sense that if you understand probability, it'll influence your choices. But I also think you kind of got to, um, you got to play like 10,000 games of Yahtzee for any uh, understanding of probability to have a meaningful impact on your win rate in all likelihood. Okay, um, that's, that's not what you want to see. <laughs> You could go for four of a kind ones, but it's not worth it's not worth very much. I actually think this is uh I'm gonna keep the five and the six, and then I'm gonna go for a reroll. That's pretty good luck. Now, we actually get out of a huge jam if we get a six here. If we don't get a six, we're already out of a huge jam. That's not really what I meant, but still helpful. Still helpful. Dunk. Dunky, dunk, dunk. I gotta say, he's knocking at the door. You know, he's he's getting real close to the four of a kinds, getting real close to the yachts. That's that's a decent four of a kind. Oh, he's already got it with eleven. Oh, oh, <laughs> no yacht, no. Ah! Okay, now we got a game going. Now we got a game going. What a roll. Tomo got scared there. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to scare you. What a roll. Beep, boop, beep. This is unfortunate. We already have a full house ones and sixes. Can I tell you? We're gonna... This is a choice roll. And we're gonna try to get a four of a kind sixes. That's a slap in the face. That's uh, almost exactly the same thing, but that's a guaranteed choice. <laughs> Yahtzee, let's go. I'm I'm always good for one to two yacht dice games over the course of a clubhouse. This it it simulates the thrill of gambling, um, but you know not quite as uh, interesting, I guess, because the looming prospect of financial ruin is not there. It's just for fun. It's a good roll. Oh, yeah, only emotional ruin. I think I'm on a pretty negative streak in Yahtzee, I might add. 
Or yacht dice? I don't think I've won uh, a, a yacht dice game in Clubhouse in quite some time. We, we need a five here, man. This would help me out. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Two fives would have been better, but, you know, let's not get greedy. <laughs> this is going to be close. That, that yacht got him out of a jam. He's definitely going to get the bonus at the top as well. Because he disrespected the aces. I mean, that 35-point that bonus for the top is a big one. He's not going to get bonus. He needs four fours. Oh, dude, you're right. I forgot because he... Uh... Oh, he's going for the large straight. That's that's such a risk. He, he got two threes. I thought he got three threes. Can I... Can I... Okay, let's say I get 12. Uh, sorry, let's say I get nine from threes. That puts me at 54. Oh, you're right. I definitely need four threes as well. Four twos won't do it. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, like it's hard. <laughs> uh, let's let's go for the threes chance here. We can always get rid of yacht if we have to. F. Um, this this is you're gonna scrap yacht from the board. It is what it is. You, you rarely roll yachts. I know that he got one, but you rarely roll yachts. Love to see it. What What the heck? Oh, he's, he's going for the full house? Because three fours won't do it, man. Three fours won't do it. I mean, it's good that you got the full house. I guess you keep your fours going. This, this is going to be tight. This is going to be a tight game. I would love to see four threes, man. We'll start on twos here. I mean, five twos would, would do it. <laughs> Yo, I hate you! Okay, great full house. Four threes. We got a very simple line here. We need to get four threes. He's looking for fours or a large straight. He's going to go for the straight draw. Well, it's tough, but it could happen. Lady luck. One, two, three, five. Okay, he just needs a four. One in six chance. This would be a huge whiff. If he doesn't get this, I'd be very happy. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Um, great rolls. Great rolls, Joe. Joe's back in control, I'd say. This would be a huge four threes. Not a great start. Not a great start. Just enough to give me a chance. I saw it roll away from the three and I said, I said, self, I think we're screwed. I need 48 points. Five threes. If he gets zero. Now nah, I think we lost. Yeah. You made fun of his 11, four of a kind. I did. Um, even if we get five threes, we only get 40. No, we get 50 points. But he's going to. You got four fours, you freaking scumbag. <laughs> Joe, what the hell happened? We did it, Joe. He was. At the start of the game, his luck was so bad. And I was like, we're a genius. He used his luck for the end game, yeah. With, oh, no, 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 come on. If this is a yacht, I'm actually going to stop the segment. It would have been a great clip farm, you got to admit. All right, 149 to 239. We lost by 90 points. Good game, Joe. No disrespect. Was, you know, what? Are you gonna, you're going to lose Yahtzee and be like, oh, you got lucky. Yeah, no kidding. This like, It's not called uh, skillsy. It was a good game. It was a blowout, but it didn't look like one for, for a while there. Okay, so we had what? We had we had chess, and we had uh, billiards. We had eight ball billiards. Pop it in there. We actually made it to the queue this time. Remember that time we did the golden goblet? 
in Clubhouse Games and Malf's first game of bowling, he got a perfect. What a guy. What a guy. <clears throat> Gamer God. What can you say? Okay, it's Moncala, baby. In my if you don't know the rules in Moncala, just watch the pretty marbles, okay? If you if your last marble ends up in your final space, you get a free turn. If your uh, last marble ends up in an empty space, then you get all the marbles in your opponent's uh, area. So I'm sure this game is like solved as hell by now, but I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just having a fun time. There is some curling. Okay, you, congrats, you got yourself an extra turn. You think that makes you like hot shit? It does. One, two, three, four, five. I think this man can capture his own stones. Maybe, maybe I'm a fool. <clears throat> Hold on. What, what happens if you do this? I gotta know. I thought I would capture my own six stones and put them in my goal. No, the color of the stone doesn't matter. If if the stones are on your side, then it counts as uh, as your stones. Otherwise, not. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, uh, that's a free turn, baby. Which means this is a free turn. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Yeah, you don't run out of the going back in time juice or nothing. Capture. Whoa! Dab on him. Dab on him. Scary. It's a scary time, huh? A little scary. What a play. That was all skill, by the way. All skill. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now let me look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It gives you so many marbles, I kind of hate it. Um, check this out. Get ready for this. I don't think you're ready for this jelly, honestly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Tom, look, don't, don't screw me here. I mean, you should, really, but... Okay, he screwed me, but that's okay. Now, now he's... That's okay. He's given me so many marbles. It's a joke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I don't want to get my stuff captured. So let's let's just redistribute here. Congrats, you got an extra turn. Nobody, nobody tell him. Nobody tell him he's got another extra turn. <laughs> uh, sucker. <laughs> Oh, man. You should have seen your face. He's like, I'm going to capture your 11. I'm going to capture your 11. No, no, no. Because I'm going to capture your one. I'm going to capture your one. Oh, man. He thought he was going to capture my 11. Oh, man. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. I I'm I'm a little lazy to count, but... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, I, I think that my pile is bigger. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, whatever, man. Let's redistribute the wealth a little. Capture. Oops. I, that's my own stone. <laughs> I use the stones to destroy the stones. Good turn, good turn. Oh, and there's there's capture. a little capture there. No doubt about that. You know what you haven't considered though? What about this? Oh, and then and then this. <laughs> oh, little. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, and then okay, you can capture mine. That's true. That's true. Can't deny that. Capture. There's a little capture on your side. I think you got a real problem here, sir. Because if I just do this, I'm pretty sure you have to give me. All your stones. I think the game ends and I get all your stones. 
That's, look, they're not J cause. They, they don't even fit in the little hot dog at the side of the board. They're falling out. Like, we need to get an industrial-sized Mancala board if we're going to play again. Oh, that was, that was good stuff. All right, we got nine, uh, eight ball billiards. Still got chess on the list. And uh, you know what? I, I'm pretty bad at Connect 4. I have some embarrassing Connect 4 memories, but what a game. What a game. Toy baseball? I will never. Update on the wealth, simple stuff. We're still waiting uh, on... Oh, no. Steven! We're still waiting on final confirmation of the numbers from wealth, simple. I have the, the BC Children's Hospital donate page just waiting to, to send the money because it's burning a hole in my wealth, simple cash account right now. Uh, I'm hopeful that that stuff will be resolved as soon as possible. But it, it has not been resolved yet. Toy baseball TikTok, one of my favorite things in the world. It is a, it's a classic. I mean, Steven, come on, man. What are you doing here? <laughs> this, uh, this music is great, too. Oh, the Brain Destroyer. I, I love it. And I, it's not like I'm any better at it. But in toy baseball, when you get them uh, swinging at a ball that's not even... I love this. When you get them swinging at a ball that's going behind them, it's perfect. Okay, jerk. Dunk, dunky, dunk, dunky, dunk, dunky, dunk. I feel like I'm winning right now. Sure, you, I mean, you can put me on the back foot if you want. It doesn't really bother me. Look at me. I am the captain now. I'm about to not be the captain. I see your point. Oh, you know, if I let you put it there, you win. So I have to put it here, because you, you'll have a two-piece. It's all about avoiding the two-piece. Look at me, Hector. Did you know Did you know Hector Salamanca is also in Ace Ventura Pet Detective? He plays Ace Ventura's landlord. Steven. You running it through Stockfish? Steven, what do you... What are you doing, Steven? What are you doing? What are you doing? Steven, what are you... Steven! I don't believe you, Steven. I've, I've set up a trap for you. <laughs> two and one two wins one loss i don't know if steven threw okay but i i feel like i i forced his hand there i'm proud of myself yo the d generator also known as vip daniel not to be confused with the other daniel who is not a vip um i i gave you a lot of props in my tainted cane video today where i won because uh well, because it's Tainted Cane and now I know how to win. I think, I think I've think i ruined Tainted Cane for the viewers now, which is exactly what I want. Instead of people begging for Tainted Cane, now they're going to be like, please never play as him once you finish the post-it note, because it's too obvious. Good. It's for the best. Okay, I kind of remember uh, how to play backgammon. Owned. Already. We're off to a great start already. Um, okay. Kind of remember how to play backgammon. You don't want your stuff to get locked. I remember that part. <laughs> it's... Is it... Backgammon is kind of like Super Moncala. Because you can get your pieces sent back to the start, which, which nobody likes. Nobody likes that, man. 
Give me, give me a three piece and give me a two piece. I don't know. It might be a terrible move. Two, four. Do, 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 do. Allegedly, they're, ta they're changing Tainted Cane so that there's more luck involved in the bag of crafting. My, uh, my only thing there is you can change Tainted Cane to make him harder. But if you do it before you change Tainted Lazarus and before you add in like the birthright mechanics for the characters that don't have them, it, uh, it says a lot. That's all I'm going to say is it says a lot. We can move one checker four places. <laughs> You're not going to roll two ones, so who cares? Explain the rules in terms of Vine videos. Uh, if you roll doubles, you're back at it again at the Krispy Kreme, which means you get to make two turns. Uh, you get to go again, I should say. Otherwise, if you have a checker that is alone, Zach, it's going to get in trouble. If somebody rolls a one or, or they roll what they need to to land on top of your solo checker, they're going to steal it and you're going to be like, is this allowed? Hey, is this allowed? But it is allowed. It is allowed. So any anytime you get the chance to double these sons of guns up, you're gonna love it. Apart from that, you're not gonna love it. I can't move this checker because they they got me blocked on this column right here. Um, go ahead, move this one one. Joker at the Moncala game. Oh shit, Joker at the Moncala game. Uh, oh, yeah, and you try to get all your, your checkers into the hot dog at the end. I can't remember if you need to roll exactly to get them in. I think you might. Six and three. This guy is going to win, by the way. Um, because... They uh, are not leaving any solos. And I am leaving uh, a lot of solos. Because I am not good at backgammon. <laughs> Which is the simplest way to explain that for sure. Do you see the speed they chose the, the move at? Yeah, I, I do think that backgammon is a little bit overrepresented in the board game uh, catalog. Like, the anytime you got like a... Uh, Come on. Oh, maybe you don't get doubles. You get like literally two times the dice. Um, anytime you uh, you buy like a, a home game set, it always comes with chess checkers. And then you like flip those boards over. You get backgammon. Ugh. And then Chinese checkers, which is like, I don't even, something in my brain just does not work with Chinese checkers, man. Like, I, I, I don't know if I've ever won a game of Chinese checkers in, in my entire life. You know what game is underrepresented relative to its quality? Cribbage. Cribbage is an all-time game. Little bit of... It's half card game, half mathematics. Like, Cribbage is, is the, the grandparents' classic. Okay, let's, let's use a six to put you here. Let's use a six to put you here. And then I literally can't move again. I think. Can I? Oh, I can. Look at that. That's good roll, I think. Yeah, Cribbage is top tier, man. I need to relearn how to play it. But there were like summer vacations where I'm pretty sure all I did was play like Yahoo Cribbage over and over. Cribbage was evolved from an earlier English game called Naughty, and the man credited with inventing it is called Sir John Suckling. You know? I, I can see why maybe he had a chip on his shoulder and, and decided to invent the, the greatest game of all time. Would you give me one of those? And then, for protection, one of these. <laughs> Cribbage and Euchre are like... That's what separates uh, 
Canadians from Americans. How much cribbage did you play growing up? How much euchre did you play growing up? I, I've played in multiple euchre tournaments as a as a preteen. Uh, and I remember I went to a euchre tournament with my dad at like the local firehouse. And in the first game, people were like, you know, they were all like 60 plus, right? In the first game, they were like, oh, so cool that like your son's here playing euchre with you. But in the second game, they were like, hey, could you shuffle a little faster? They, they got over the, you know, they got down to business real quick, let's say. It got sweaty. <laughs> you know what? You go here. And then you go here. And then we got some super protection there. Although we did just leave two things exposed. Did you win? No, I got, you know, destroyed. But th these, like, people that are, like, they're in doubles teams with each other. They're, uh... They, they're, you're not supposed to table talk. Like, it's illegal. You know they're doing it anyway. They've been married for, like, 70 years. They don't need to table talk to know what's going on. They've been, they've been playing Euchre longer than I've been alive. Former Boston Red Sox Dustin Pedroia used to play a game of cribbage before every game. Dude, I mean, cribbage, I, I think I have nothing to back this up. I think it's good for your brain. Because not only are you thinking about like how to play uh, your cards, but you're thinking about how to how to do the math, right? Because don't, don't you have to come up with the hand that has the most possible ways to like add up to 15? I just remember going like 15-1, 15-2. Uh, my Joy-Con, my Joy-Cons are broken. I've been hacked. My Joy-Cons don't work. Oh, thank you, Nintendo. I appreciate it. Sorry, I didn't... I know, I know. I'm, I'm besmirching the integrity of, uh, <laughs> of the backgammon game. I apologize. Wasn't my intention. Just gonna scoot right by you. Oh, there it goes again. Oh yeah, I forgot you got to think about uh, about straights as well. Let me guess, your Joy-Con broke? It happens to the best of us. Just remember, you know, like when you uh, maybe you, like spin a slot machine and you win, and it goes like, brrrr, but you you know you're not addicted to gambling, so you don't know how long it's gonna go, and then you're like, it should be done by now, but it's not done by now, and it just keeps going. Brrrr, Oh my god, the lag. That that's what uh that's what cribbage is like. But it's been a, it's been a while. I, am I the one on Starbucks Wi-Fi right now? I apologize, fairy. Look at that. I need to roll two dice that are four or higher so I can get Oh no, never mind. This is this one's gonna come down to our end game rolls. We're now past. Actually, they're they're a fair bit ahead right now. They did also roll a bunch of double sixes, but that's okay. Now we're cruising. Do we have to have all of our uh, checkers in the top right corner in order to start getting them into the goal? I think so. Yes, you do. Oh, come on! Yeah, they, screw this, man. They got to come out with forward gammon. <laughs> you resign now. I'm just going to say, we've won all the skill-based games. We lost all the luck-based games so far. Uh, I haven't seen the, uh, the Loki finale yet. Um... But I did see the reaction on social media. It seems like people actually very much enjoyed the finale, which is which is good to hear. 
Loki, wow, six episode season. It's like you're on British TV. Wow, you are played by a British actor. That's right, I'm breaking the fourth wall. My name's Mobius. Middle name Jetski, wow. Yeah, this one's over. Uh, oh, or is it? Or is it? You know, it is. He's already like 80% done. Yes, it is. What, what if we roll a lot of doubles? Like, that's a great start. All checkers and home board bear off. Yeah, yeah. If you guys, uh, excuse me, I'm about to bear off. Did you get a single double this game? I did get a single double, I, but I think my opponent got three. Or, or four? We can at least make it look not so bad. Look at that, we're catching up. <laughs> Load them in, baby. Oh, that, oh, that's tough for you. Look at this, we're catching up, dude. We almost got you. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> Quadruple sixes again? All right, good game, good game, fairy. That was a heck of a game. Single game win, losing player was able to bear off some checkers. I forgot, you, you, if you lose in backgammon, there's like, there's degrees of loss. You, you can lose and be like, good game, or you can lose and it's like, please uninstall from your hard drive. Oh, because it's meant for gambling. That makes sense. I like dominoes. Chess is, a, is an interesting game. And then we, billiards have just been sitting here, man. Nobody likes the billiards. Dunky, dunky, dunk. Another reason why Crib is the OG. Crib is, is a classic game. I'm surprised they don't make more... Um, they, don't, they don't have it in as many games. Like It's so easy to add cribbage to this. I miss going to the pool hall. I really like uh, shooting pool. It sucks. It's one of the things that's that's kind of crappy, and for the most part, it's pretty good. But it's one of the things that's kind of crappy about living in a city where real estate is extremely expensive is uh, there's really not a whole lot of pool halls that have a lot of tables and don't charge out the ass for the table time. Which makes sense, because it is a game where literally, like, you know, you need 20 square feet per table, which is ridiculous uh, when you look at, like, the housing costs and stuff like that. Um, so, and my dad loves to shoot pool, too. Like, so whenever he's here, we try to find places, and uh, it's it's tough. There's, like, a, there's a bar in downtown Vancouver that is like, we have pool tables, and then I went into the uh, the bar, and it's like, it has one pool table upstairs and they don't keep it uh oh man that's a terrible draw they don't keep it protected so it just had like people leaning on it and i'm like i don't want to ask people to move every 10 seconds uh and uh then we ended up going to some place in like yale town that had you get like four pool tables Pass. great start Don't ask, just hit him. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could. Okay, so this is a terrible start. I I'm trying to remember. You gotta, you gotta make multiples of five and ten, right? One, so this is right now. It has ten up. We can. <laughs> if we, if we play a one and a six, we get fifteen. My man is a genius. I, I've forgotten, I haven't played this in a while. So the way the dominoes works is you have to sum the terminal ends of the dominoes. Uh, so right now you got a six, a four, and a five. That makes 15. If you make a multiple of five or a multiple of 10, you get that many points. First person is 61 wins this round. Um, I, I have no idea why the three didn't count. I, I don't know the rules. 
but you you learn it pretty quick. So right you, once you have it, you just get a running tally going. So right now there's 15 on the board. So my blank five could turn us into a, a 20. My five blank could turn us into a 10. There's 12 on the board. If I have a 5-3, which I don't, or a 0-3, which I don't. There's 8 on the board, so a blank 2 would totally work. But I don't I don't really pay uh, super close attention to the to the optimum way to play. I just try to like as soon as I find a multiple, I'm like send it. Also, most of the time you don't have ten dominoes in your hand. We got unlucky and we're unable to play on our first turn. But it's not going so bad. So we have sixteen on the board. Lots of thinking. Oh, they asked for more time. I think. The music is horrible, man. Seven. Okay, we got 11. Oh, geez, Luis. You got 17 on the board right now. I think this will make 20. I'm actually like an arithmetic genius. Look at my works, ye mighty in despair. He knows. 9 plus 7. We have 16 on the board right now. We got... I, fuck. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to steal my dominoes for like super points or something. Um, guess what? 5 points, baby. Oh, you only got to get to 61 though. We're almost there, man. 5-0 is a great start. Oh, look at that. Just made someone quit in clubhouse chess and I'm on a high. Oh, man. That's good stuff. This hand is pretty disgusting. Well, we have no choice, so. Ooh. You have to wonder, like, I think that clubhouse chess, it's got to just be... Literally, people with like a 600 ELO, because there's a, a, a surplus of people on chess.com that have like 800. And I feel like, you know, they're going to be grandmasters compared to Clubhouse. But then I also feel like there's going to be a higher proportion of sharks. Easy enough. Just people looking for like free, uh, free wins. Bum, 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 bum. We're one point away from victory, by the way. It's it's not really easy to get one point, but we're we're looking like not in a bad position right now. Are you deliberately choosing collared shirts for the last two days? Excuse me. Uh, yesterday I wore a gray crew neck. Eighteen, 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 sixteen. If you go out first, you get the points regardless. That's true. That I, Oh, we got the fours protected too. I got doubles of the fours. <clears throat> Open the first button? Never. I will never. Stream sniping? Stream sniping. Ooh. <laughs> First place in dominoes. Tell her. Tell her I got triples. Remember in the first round when we drew like eight dominoes because we couldn't play? I'm just saying, all skill games we win. All luck games. Oh, no, no not golf. Come on. Eight ball pool. Chess. It's always the third game has come in every single time. I don't mind a little carom. You look like you're from Utah. 
Oh, here we go. Ganondorf. Oh, shit. Ganondorf showed up at the chess match. Players left. <laughs> Ganondorf showed up at the chess match. They know. They're like, when it, when a shark hits a shark, you gotta dodge. Someone's someone queued for eight ball. It doesn't matter what the third one was here. I think it was Karam. It's gonna find us something else though. My game crashed. Billiards. Sus. Well, just a little sus. But that is the person that said they made someone rage quit the game, so I, uh, maybe, maybe it's for the best. I don't know how you make someone rage quit chess, but. Stop taking my pieces! Thank God we weren't playing nine ball. Um, what, what material is the shirt? I don't, I don't know materials. I feel like it's, um. Is cotton? <laughs> Seems like cotton. I don't know. I did see that that uh, Ludwig and Sea Dog VA played like a, a seventeen or eighteen game chess show match to figure out who the uh, superior chess player was between the two people that I beat on route to my consolation bracket uh, runner up position in. Uh, Twitch rivals hand and brain. Okay, I have to pocket one to seven. And I, I saw that Ludwig, uh, he came out with the dub. I was, I was, I was happy for him. I hope they all had a good time. Ooh. <laughs> what a shot, man. I gotta look over on my, my other monitor here, uh, because this is where I got my, my on-screen ruler. <laughs> Tough luck. Would you play chess boxing with Gotham? Um, it, it would be a very imbalanced match. I'm not even saying like I'm a good fighter, but Gotham has like uh, Levy, I should say, probably has a thousand Elo on me. And uh, I probably have 60 pounds on him in the ring. So I think it would just be like the worst game of chess you would ever see. I don't even know if I would win the boxing match, but they're always trying to give him like, you know, the equivalent weight and stuff like that. So I feel like I have an advantage going into that section, but I feel like it would just be like a really bad chess game interspersed with an absolutely pathetic fight. I think he can find he can find a better chess boxing opponent. <laughs> I've seen some of those uh, those chess players fight. I'd be uh, I'd be scared to to get on their uh, negative side. You're lucky. This this 15 ball is like impossible, man. I, I can't get around it. Don't rush me! Sorry, next time. <laughs> next time. <laughs> How many US presidents could you defeat in chess boxing at their prime? I don't even know the rules of chess boxing, to be honest. Like... Thanks for the ball. Uh, I know you play some chess, and then you fight, and then you play some chess. But I feel like um, it doesn't make sense. Also, doesn't the board get all sweaty? Nice shot. I couldn't have done that myself. Oh, there you go. Look at that. There you go, you little squirt. 
Minecraft boxing is the next big thing. Yo, I would love to be part of a Minecraft boxing match. Speaking of the Wu-Tang Clan, I did watch How High again last night. What a, what a film. Did you know, did, well, okay, the, the sequel uh, we, we can talk about after. Uh, How High is a, a, a movie starring Method Man and Red Man, where uh, Method Man is a, a, a marijuana grower. He is a friend who's very smart and is always encouraging Method Man to go to uh, botany schools so that he can finally get the laboratory of his dreams. Anyway, um, he, he gives, uh, he sells some marijuana to his smart friend. His smart friend watches Field of Dreams, but he gets so high he falls asleep with the joint in his hand, which lights him on fire, and he goes up uh, like a freaking tinderbox falls out the window and then gets hit by a bus and killed. Later, they use his ashes to fertilize their marijuana plant. And uh, when they smoke it, his ghost gives them the ability to get a perfect score on the SATs, so they get into Harvard. But then, like, much of the rest of the movie is not actually dealing with the consequences of that. It's mostly just them... Frick. Like partying at Harvard and it, it just becomes almost like the classic college Animal House Revenge of the Nerds like old school thing where they just kind of are living their lives and then occasionally things uh, it, it, it comes up They do smoke a bong with Ben Franklin I think well like I, I, they dig up John Quincy Adams corpse and then try to grind it up and smoke it to learn the uh, to learn the answers to their midterms. <laughs> yeah, sorry, they don't get a perfect score on their SATs either. They're called the THCs in the How High universe. They did also blow up birds. Um, the 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 dean of freshmen in uh, in How High is named Dean Kane, and he's a really stuck up guy, except when they get him to eat those cosmic brownies. Uh, where, when he says, Hey, DJ! Play my stuff! And then he starts doing some cool, uh, some cool dance moves. But, uh, yeah, they, they let a, a bunch, a bunch of, uh, like, pigeons loose in his office, I think. And then they feed them, like, uh, I think it's a laxative and they explode. Yeah, I somehow, it's literally, the eight ball is like, it's teetering on the pocket, man. Like, look at this. How did that not go in? I think, I think I just won the game. <laughs> oh, man. That's good stuff. Like I said, hey, it's been an hour. All skill games have been victorious here. We're going to run back an hour, though, for sure. Club, 